Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to, I, I guess this is the season finale of Sunday Night Skeet. That's right, I am your host and commentator, Mr. Mediocre Ten Cunts here. And we're kicking off tonight's action with a match I don't believe we have ever seen before. In APPW, it's Lord Jake of the Chinfluence, who, by the way, took up a lot of programming on Dynamite. Taking on one half of the APBW Tag Team Champions and Brock Nicer of the Budget Club. Who will build momentum as these two face off one on one? And by the way, speaking of last, last Dynamite, I mean, at the end of that episode, uh, some freaky supernatural shit went on. This wasn't Black Magic Cracker shit, this was CBG. Uh, takeover shit. Uh, yeah, the cameraman started speaking in tongues. The, the camera was bleeding. Everyone was petrified. And then for some reason, we were teleported to hell as we saw CBG systematically destroy Zanko Rhodes. Zanko Rhodes is at a hospital which is next to a local medical facility. He is still being treated, but um, yeah, CBG, he made a statement win over the former APBW champion on Dynamite. And now, folks, we are just awaiting what his condition will be in time for Decent Mania. As a countout could happen here. No, Brock. Brock actually interrupted the count. He was up to nine. Lord Jake. Getting tossed around by Brock, the beast of the Fudget Club. Of course, the Fudget Club itself, its existence is in trouble, folks. At Decent Mania 3, JH and Thank Chris, the head of the Fudget Club, will be fighting against a million calorie man and a mystery partner. As Brock goes for a pinball attempt, it's a one count. Should JH and Thank Chris lose that match, the Fudget Club must disband. No more Fudget Club if they lose at Decent Mania 3. So a lot of pressure is on the Fudget Club at Decent Mania 3, not only defending the APBW Tag Team Championships, but also defending its existence it's going to be a hell of a night as these two really enjoy fighting on the outside of the ring. It's Jake, so this could end very disappointing. Jake, not a very great sports entertainer. He would gladly pick out and choose to win by count out. Didn't have to defeat Brock Nicer in the middle of the ring. Hopefully he can get this action. No, he's just continuing the punishment on the outside of the ring. Lord Jake, I don't know how he finds himself in leadership positions here. But now he finally gets back into the ring. This could end in count out, folks. No, he breaks the count. It's a miracle. As the beast is about to be unleashed on Lord Jake on the season finale of Sunday Night Skeet. Lord Jake launches Brock. The fight continues on the outside for these two. Of course, Lord Jake wants to lead by example and show Blake how it's done. Which, by the way, how many fucking personalities does does this fucking cynic have by the way we're, we're, we have yet to see another personality as the gruff is up to nine will they get in the ring Brock wins by count out. oh my god that's hilarious Brock Nicer defeats Lord Jake by count out turning the tables on the leader of the chin fluence, the momentum is in the champion side. Mm -hmm. 
It's the return of the random opponent selector, and this time it's a it's against Ribby. Ribby in action here tonight. He lost on Dynamite. He's trying to pick up some momentum here as the YouTube champion random opponent selector is Timey Dong, which of course is Cynic and another fucking personality that we have here on uh, in APPW. Timey Dong taking it to the YouTube champion here tonight. Wow. Nice senton delivered to poor Ribby. Ribby defeated JH to win the YouTube championship. So Ribby can now call himself a champion in APPW. And now he's taking on a flea market ninja and Timey Dong. But again, all bets are off on the season finale of Sunday Night Skeet. Here, Ribby goes for the pinfall attempt. Does not even get a one count. Ribby, you gotta try and do something. Timey Dong goes for a pinfall attempt. Of course, we saw Ribby annihilate JH with his favorite weapon, the baguette. It was food on food crime as Ribby just decimated JH. Look at that! What the hell was that? Timey Dong attacking with his ass. So poor Ribby. Now fuck poor Ribby, he's an idiot. I hope Timey Dong defeats him and continues the embarrassment. I mean, you gotta imagine if this, the random opponent selector here picked Timey Dong. If Timey Dong gets a victory, he could be in title contention and he defeats Ribby! Timey Dong has defeated Ribby! Two minute match, folks. Here is your winner, Tyler May Dunn. Ty Lee Dong. Wow. Congratulations. But fuck you, Ribby. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's the season finale of Sunday Night Skeet. So we added another match. I don't believe we do this that often, but we are seeing someone that will definitely not be in 2K22. The Fiend Bray Wyatt is facing off against, yeah, that's right, folks, a former two-time APBW champion, Jake the Snake Roberts. Can Jake the Snake vanquish the Fiend? Or will the Fiend go out with a bang? We shall see here tonight's se season finale, Sunday Night Skeet. We have one more match to go. But of course, Jake the Snake desperately needs a paycheck. So we threw someone at him that nobody likes. I mean, The Fiend's a great character, but where the hell has he been? Where is Bray Wyatt? Mr. Wyndham? Nobody knows. He's probably going to go to AEW. That's what everyone's doing. As The Fiend launches Jake the Snake. The hell of a fallaway slam to the legend. Jake the Snake Roberts versus The Fiend. This could possibly be the most skipped match of all time in the history of Sunday Night Skeet. And look at Bray! The Fiend just talking shit! Of course, The Fiend is a former YouTube champion, folks. That's right, a former YouTube champion. Because he has a rear naked choke on Jake the Snake Roberts. Of course, we just saw Ribby get annihilated. And now the Fiend is pinned. He gets out of it. Jake the Snake Roberts. Shocking the world in 2022. Becoming a two-time APPW champion. The Fiend. Nice. Spinebuster delivered to Jake the Snake Roberts. 
And now setting him up for a pump handle slam. Pump handle drop, really. Goes for the pinfall attempt. Jake the Snake is still alive, but the Fiend. The Fiend wants you to remember him. So he's going to try and get a dub tonight. As he flies up the top rope with a knee drop. Right to Jake the Snake. Jake Roberts, though. There's still some fight left in this old fart. And he's going to show the Fiend the short arm clothesline. The move that won him the championship the first time. Jake the Snake. Oh, he gets a one count from the Fiend. The Fiend is still alive. And quite possibly the last time we ever see this guy in APPW. But Jake the Snake says exclamation point to the end of the fiend Jake the Snake going for the pinfall attempt after the DDT can he vanquish the fiend no he barely gets a two count the fiend is still alive here tonight on Sunday Night Skeet first Jake the Snake Roberts puzzled he doesn't know what to do as he heads to the top rope never a good decision for an old man he does not even hit that. The Fiend didn't move. Jake the Snake just missed because he's old and senile. And now the Fiend could make him pay for his mistake. As Jake the Snake Roberts still does not know what the hell he's doing. And the Fiend takes advantage. No, wait. Jake the Snake. The veteran with the Mongolian hammer. As the Fiend snapmare. And he's going to work on the head of Jake the Snake Roberts. Wrenching on it. We can't really see what's happening, but we'll have to just imagine. He's tugging at his mustache. The Fiend. Dead set. On vanquishing a former APPW champion. Jake the Snake. Could be in trouble, folks. Look at that. Strangling the life. And if Jake does not sit, is that the man? Yes, that was the mandible claw. It is over. Well, rest in peace, Fiend. You will always be in the APBW record books as being a former YouTube champion. We'll see you somewhere down the line, I'm sure. Adios, Bray Wyatt. Welcome to your main event of the season finale of Dynamite. The APPW Women's Champion, the Doctor, Doctor Britt Baker, DMD, versus the returning Linda's Bush. We have not seen Linda's Bush in a very long time. She's not famous for winning, but she has a one-on-one -on -one match here against the champ. You gotta imagine if she picks up a victory. I mean, she won't get a title match or anything, but at least she'll be in in consideration for a future title match down the line because we all know the doctor will be facing Urza Scarlet, the winner of the Women's Royal Crumble match at Decent Mania 3. Of course, Urza debuting at Death Box, victorious over China. And now the doctor must face and defend her championship against Urza Scarlet. Of course, a fairy tale. Talk about random people in APPW, folks. We can thank Mrs. Mangria for that one as Linda's Bush. Hanging in there with the champ. Of course, the doctor losing the AEW Women's Championship to Thunder Rosa this past week. What the hell? What? And then she loses this match. That wasn't even two minutes. Here 
the monster. The monster Linda's Bush annihilated our champ. Wow. 